swagger. All right, hey everybody. Um, I got, I'm here with uh, one of my brothers, uh, the Mount Vernon kid. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, what we're going to be talking about is actually something that got me going after watching uh, Geek Evolution's uh, Superhero Rewind on Supergirl, arguably one of the worst superhero movies ever. Um, <laughs> now, this is basically us talking about uh, female superheroes and, um, in cinema. Will we ever get them? And we have, like, Supergirl for one, and those other two train, train wrecks we call Elektra and Catwoman. Yeah. Train wrecks. That's pretty much to sum those movies up. <laughs> uh, first off, um... I'm gonna. Here's the big. Here's the first question. Do you think that um, the, do you do you think directors and writers just can't figure out how to write a female hero? Uh, with all honesty, pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much the way I look at it. It, it seems that these these writers they can only come around and write put more of sex appeal to them instead of showing them as a hero as they do the male characters um, and as always I always put it's a little bit of fear as well like I don't know just also maybe just a little bit of sexism as well into it yeah um, I think the other thing is that I think some directors like WB like uh, the best example of what superhero should superheroine should get a movie is, of course, Diana. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Uh, <clears throat> my thing is that do they just don't know how to write a, a a woman character as a super um as a superhero, or is it just because um they just don't want to look like the male characters look down like basically make them better than the male characters? Are they just afraid of that? That's that's another factor. I, I would add into it as well just to you know they don't want to show the woman as being like they don't need the man's help as much uh you know even though it's not a uh comic but kill bill had a prime example of that showing that Beatrice kiddo could go around without a, a male companion do just as much damage as but i don't know what it is with uh super heroin we can't show them being, I don't know, just being just strong and powerful as well as elegant and beautiful at the same time. Exactly, man. Uh, you know, the other the other difficult demographic is that, um, you know, what is it just because they can't figure out what character to write? Or is it because... Um, is it just because they fear that the market isn't there for a female superhero? I don't know why, because... Uh, well, I don't know, maybe this day and age now, because when you talk about eras in the past, from the 90s and before, we had a lot of female characters leading, uh, leading you know, you know, from Xena to Buffy to, you know... A lot of other uh, top female characters that showed that yeah they can play with the big boys, and now come to this era we see them now more in the supporting cast role. I mean, look at for example, I always say they've always talked about doing a, a Black Widow movie, and I remember them talking about that for years and saying that uh, Rebecca Romaine Stamos was going to play Natasha, and and now we finally get her and we got Scarlett Johansson playing her but she's not she's not in that role of that we would want her and we we got her as a supporting cast and i'm not talking about the avengers movie that's coming out uh, later but i'm talking about when we saw her in iron man 2 she played a supporting role though she did shine in in, in a few in a little bit of the scenes but still it wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. How? Although, would you still say that Black Widow still has a shot now for a, for a spinoff movie at least? 
you know what? I would love to see Black Widow get a, a spinoff movie. I mean, I don't see why you cannot do it. I mean, if anything, Sh- Black Widow, they could take a little bit. Marvel Studios get a little bit of what gives the James Bonds movie so much hype and fan. Because that's pretty much what she is. She's a spy. So, you know, take a little bit of what made James Bond great and add do you read the source material of who this character is and go but it's 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 just that fear that these studios seem to don't want to go ahead and do these movies yeah um the other thing is uh, is that with um you know if they do do a uh, black widow movie i've always said that what they should do is do the um the story arc where she faces off with the second Black Widow, Yelena. That that would be perfect. Like, because uh, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if anybody else knows that, and that would be a good way of getting people to jump on board. That to show that there was, there is another Black Widow. Well, there's actually three of them, but uh, uh, Yelena was the the blonde. She's the bad one. You know, she's. She's more the the one you know you don't want to be messing with too much. Yeah. Not saying Natasha's not bad either, but badass. But you know, Elaine is more of that one. You know, she's never on the good team. Yeah, uh, that's that's something you know you got to address as well. As, and you know, I got also. We, I guess we could also talk about that. You know, Marvel is trying their best to bring out more of their female superheroes. I mean. Um, well, I know, of course, like the best one we have right now is Black Widow spinoff. But um, is there? You think there's any chance for the other female superheroes, like uh, She Hulk, or uh, I don't? Um, who else would you say among the female superheroes might get a chance? Like maybe even Valkyrie, I would say. You know what? Valkyrie is another one that I would I would love to see them bring back to the table. You know, meaning basically, I've always said that Valkyrie could even holds her own ongoing series, you know, in comics, you know, because she's really getting very popular now. A lot of people are, but are starting to like her, but I've, I've known about Valkyrie a long time, but if I, I would love to see her make, becoming part of, you know, the, the next Thor movie, um, they're talking about Marvel Studios. I've seen that Marvel basically has uh, got their contingency plan their phases of the movies and they're already talking about that phase three of their movies will include the Inhumans so we're going to see more of female characters like uh, Medusa and and Crystal and people like that Uh, I would love to see uh, Carol Danvers get a movie I think she can they can hold the movie down with her no problem you know Uh, Miss Marvel would really make a great movie. I would love to see She-Hulk finally make her you um, know, a cinematic debut. My pick would be Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew. Yeah, she's another one, you know. She's another one that would work. Uh, the thing is, is that Marvel is, that's the thing that I've always said about Marvel when compared to DC. They're, they're willing to try. They're willing to try and give their, their properties a chance instead of just like saying, well, you know, I don't know, you know, I mean, DC tried, you know, to bring another Wonder Woman show, and, you know, I can't just blame DC, I think we all, we all are to blame for that as well, you know, but we all had our reasons to why to blame that, I mean, if you looked at the stills, that girl just did not look like a Wonder Woman to me, and... It was that that bothered me, you know. It just she just looked really bulimic, and I just I wasn't even trying to give that a chance. And usually I give stuff a chance. Not this time. Uh, yeah, not that time. No. <laughs> um, here's another question um, that's been lingering when it comes to female superhero movies. Do you really need a male character for a love interest? Like, if let's say we do get a Wonder Woman movie, do you really need Steve Trevor? I don't think you need him, like, in the first movie, or you could have him in there and not have the love interest. Uh, I'm on the borderline with that one, because I feel like they can be there, but, yeah, you don't need to have him as a love interest, you know. But, see, 
that's the thing. They it's like it's the same thing with a lot of male superheroes. When you bring in, um, when you bring male superhero, even with the male superheroes, do you really need a love interest for these superhero movies? I mean, yeah, it's a good plot device and a good driving force sometimes, but on others, it just feels like it's forced in there. Like, um, oh, I don't know, Spider-Man uh, one through three. Okay. Among other movies, like um, I felt no connection for go for the first Ghost Rider relationship between um, Johnny Blaze's character and what's her other what's her face's character. Roxanne. Yeah, Roxanne. The only problem is it they're not as they're not even supposed to be a love interest. Uh, <laughs> so that's the because Roxanne in the comics was actually Johnny Blaze's half sister or something like that. Yeah. So that's kind of nasty and disgusting right there. <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah, there was there was really no connection I didn't see between Eva Mendez and and uh, Nicholas Cage. You know, it was just almost like it's just put there. You know, just put there to give him like some kind of human side to him. Yeah. You know, yeah, he's the he's one of Marvel's dark heroes, so we gotta show him, give him some humanness to him as well. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing with like um. That almost lo we almost had like kind of a love interest in the Punisher movies, right? Right. We didn't need that. Punisher yeah, never really right. had much of a. Lo I didn't really like it when they give a love interest to Punisher. He's his love is his vengeance. Right. Right. Uh, uh, but I'm. So, yeah, I, I, I think we're getting. You think we're getting off the rails? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, this. Um, when it comes to female superheroes, it feels um, like I talked about before. It's just like the demographic. Like I think this, the market is there. The market, I thoroughly believe it's there. It's just that I think that WB and I guess you could say Fox and maybe Marvel Studios just isn't like they're not prepared for it yet, or they just can't figure out the right uh, formula for it. That could be the truth as well. Although, if anyone's going to make the first move for a female superhero movie, I guarantee you it's probably going to be Marvel Studios. Yeah, that I, I would say that as well. I definitely will agree. Marvel Studios will probably be the first to bring uh, a solo female movie before the other companies. I mean, it, it would be great to see other companies do it. I mean, we, we almost got a Red Sonja a new Red Sonja movie that would have been great to see I wish they had went forward with that there's still talk of doing a Witchblade movie um, and I'm hoping that goes through but more importantly yeah I still think it'll be it'll be Marvel that will come forth and say you know what here see here we are here's the product I hope you like it you know and we we did everything we tried to make it worth the fans while as well because the one thing I've noticed about the Marvel Studios is, is that they they don't change too much, but they keep the essence of the characters that we love. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I think we pretty much covered everything. Although, there are a couple stuff I want to talk about Catwoman, but it's nothing important, really. Just saying that um, it, when Anne Hathaway does make her appearance as Catwoman, would it, do you think it's a good idea if they want to reboot the movies? The reboot the Catwoman movie. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll leave that open right now. Um, yeah. That's for another time, I guess. That's enough. That's another time, guys. Uh, but definitely, yeah. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see Anne Cat Hathaway's Catwoman. Yeah. Uh, um, but we're kind of running low on time, so yeah. I want to thank my friend, the Mount Vernon kid. Um, always a pleasure to have him on no my problem. channel. Um, and tell us what you guys think of this whole... Do you think there'll ever be a chance for a female superhero to be on the big screen? Please let us know. But anyway, um, see you guys later. Later.